Hey guys, it's Mika Coleman with Tax Deed and Overage Education. And today I want to talk about systems and processes because boy, when I tell you I am so grateful for um, me doing this, since, uh, this system and implementing it in my business. And so I want to share it with you and I promise I'm going to do a video. I normally only show it in my course, but I'm kind of like in a giving mood. So I'm like, you know what? It doesn't matter. I'm just going to start showing people my back end process. Um, they either take the information or they don't. So stay tuned for that. But what I wanted to share with you today is uh, process and systems. Because uh, I'll tell you the reason why this inspired me this video is because um, someone called me like probably, I probably reached out to them like two years ago. I'm like, uh, you know, and so it just so happened that I had put all my leads into a system. And so all I need to do is just type up their name and it'll pull up all the information. But anyway, I say this all to say that had I not had the system in place, I would have been scrambling because when I first started, and this is for people that are like new or getting into this business and they're like wanting to know like, okay, how do I start? Like, what do I do? And I always believe in if you set your foundation right the first time, then you don't, you'll have less trial and error because I really didn't have anybody teaching me. I was just kind of like taking from what I've had in the past from like my real estate and you know just dealing with investors and kind of like creating as i went but now i have a system in place where i can basically have everything in one place i could see i could visually see things i could see what have people been contacted have contracts been signed so i have all of this information now in one place and i'm not scrambling because like when i first started you know i had everything like in a drive and then i would like save files and then i had all this paperwork y'all i'm really trying to become paperless it's kind of hard though because in this business because you got these old time counties where they want every original all the originals and you know nothing's really electronic um so you know you do have to have paper but in the meantime in the between time when you're like uncovering or you're discovering or you're looking for you know you gotta have some place to store all that stuff otherwise you'll have you know paper everywhere you'll have stuff saved on your computer and so what i wanted to talk about was system and processes so one of the uh, systems that i have in place right now is like once i get a list i do upload it into a drive and i basically have in my google drive for my system and i think i showed this in a video a while ago where like i have each state like each state has its own drive and then i'll create a folder in that drive for each county and then what i do is because you know there's several different counties in one state each folder will have its own county and then i create tip sheets so like when i talk to a person in the county i get the contact i get the phone number if i have to call and i got to press four or five i put all that information in that county's tip sheet and I also put all the links that are required to either file, how to get the form, how to get the list. I put all of that. Now that is my process, like how, you know, when you're uncovering um, over just, and also tax deeds, like the other day, um, I had someone in the county walk me through the process. And as I got off the phone, I redid the video and I put it in my tax deed file on how to find um, over the counter properties. And I would have never knew how to figure that one out, right? I knew that they had over the counter, but I was like, uh, I looked on Zillow and it said that this uh, house was worth 275 and um, y'all only asking for 10 and it's over the counter? Like, okay, what's going on here? I had to call and <laughs> I called, I left messages. I was sending emails because I was like, okay, this is almost too good to be true. And um, I say that all to say that there are processes that you have to put in place so that you'll know next time. Because what I found myself doing was, you know, I'd be looking at this county and then I'd be looking at that county and I had everything all over the place. And then when I wanted to revisit that county, I have forgot how I found everything. So my, one of my processes, I do have a Google Drive. I put each state and under each state, I create a file for um, that county and then I create a tip sheet for that county. So that's my process. Now my system is 
once I have obtained either a contact for tax deeds or a claimant for the overages, I put them in my system as a contact and I put like the dollar amount, like if it's an overage or if it's a tax deed, I put the value of the property and then I also put how much it costs. So therefore I'll have all that information and I don't have to revisit it ever again like or if I go and do something else or if I'm working with another claimant or if I'm working another county at least I have all that information in my system so I just wanted to kind of um, go over the first step which is my process of like how I uncover the information and how you can you know organize your information by using Google Drive um, I actually should have did like a walkthrough video on that now that I think about it. But for those that don't use Google Drive, it's like the best tool ever. I'm sure you could Google that on how to use Google Drive or look on YouTube. But it's a really good way to organize information that you will receive because in this business, tax deeds and overages, it's a lot of information. And now that I'm like so deep in it, I could see how people... Um, may not want to do it or it may be like overwhelming or you know it could get complicated but if you organize in the beginning and create a process in a system i promise you it gets easier and easier so to wrap this video up, one thing I want you to know is if you are going to be doing tax deeds or overages, you do want to use a Google Drive so that you can, you know, create the states and in each state create a folder for whatever county that you're going to work, whether it's a tax deed and over or overage. I actually have two separate drives for um, tax deeds and one for uh, overages. And then also too, like once you get the list, you would also put that in that county. And then um, I'm, I'm gonna do a video on my system because as I'm talking about it, you probably don't understand. But even with my list, I could upload all my leads into the system and all the information is there. And so I guess I'll talk about that. I'll do a video on and walk you through the process of how I do that. But I thought I think I might've did that, I don't know. I'm sorry, I'm kind of ranting off, but anyway. There is a system where it's like a CRM. Like if you ever used a CRM before, that's what it is. It's just using a CRM, but I've created it specifically for this niche so that you'll have the parcel number, the tax ID number, the tax certificate, the county. So I created a system where it has all the information. So when you upload the leads, everything's there. So you don't really need paperwork. And like, I think like early on, I used to use everything in an Excel spreadsheet, but that also gets tedious because guess what? You have to go through, you got to mark them off. Whereas in my system, I could just, you know, type in the name, it shows it up and I have notes, you could upload documents, um, best CRM ever. And I'll share that information with you in another video, but I hope that this video helps about creating system and process and to wrap it all up, it's really important to um, organize all of the counties and states that you're going to work and I use a Google Drive and then I use a software system, uh, aka CRM, to actually organize my leads and how to uh, process my leads and actually in my CRM it has a visual pipeline so that I can see where everyone is at when um, I'm processing claims. So anyway, I think I should do a video on that. I'm sorry, but <laughs> uh, yeah, stay tuned for that video and I'll do that. And I still owe someone a video about how to like set up, uh, you know, your funnels or your websites. That's also in this system too. So anyway, hope this video helps. If you have any questions or any other ideas that you would like me to help you with in this business, just put them in the comments. But in the meantime, please like, please subscribe and please comment, ask me questions. Just engage with me because I'm talking to a camera half the day or I'm talking to county. I don't have anybody to talk to. Anyway, happy investing, guys.